I just got access to create some tutorials for uh, for the game, and I did. Um, and then I got to stream it four hours before. That's basically what I did. Of course, Virtual Viking. That's nice. All right, let's do this. Defeat all enemies, stay alive. <laughs> Good plan. And gather salvage casket. I'm not gonna go with the salvage casket. Okay, so what happened there is pretty interesting because that can happen to you as well. They were the only one that picked this mission, so they get it for free. They get everything that's in it and they don't lose anything. You just complete it. Stay alive is a good objective in real life as well. Uh, Fenrir, didn't you get access yet? Um, I think you did. Did you get him the key? Editor? Did I get what now? Access. Hey, Maddo. Thank you for the follow. Uh, oh, wait, wait, wait. Oh, I wanted to do something. Yeah, you can't do that. You can't do that when you have picked your mission. I wanted to see if I had more of the um, revive things. Manas Atra. Thank you for the follow. So good to see so many people. So many people loving Necromunda. It's awesome. <laughs> Sorry for the name of change. It's fine, Virtual Viking. So here, we have only one warrior we can we can pick every time. Um, so we need to we need to do this right. So they pick there. And we need to uh, kill them, basically. That's it. There. Caustics? Oh my lord. Wait. 20 bucks? Caustics, thank you, buddy. <laughs> oh my god. Wait, what, what is that even? <laughs> why, why, is, why is there a uh, guy nodding at me on the screen? Why is he not going away? <laughs> what? Go away! What is going on? What is that from? What the heck? It's... Uh, that one? Wait, what is that? Caustics, what did you do? <laughs> no, I don't see m m your message. Streamlabs. Oh. But, but. There we go. Oh, it showed, it showed that image. Oh. Thank you so much. <laughs> Maybe with $20, he stays there for 20 minutes. Oh, God, yeah. That could be. <laughs> I might need to fix that. Thank you so much, buddy. Thank you. That is so nice of you. Royal Rumble. All right, let me check if I have... Okay, no, it's not. It's so, um, there's the pit fight, which is sort of like this, and there's a Royal Rumble, which is this. And the Royal Rumble is a bit less harsh. It seems. Oh, it's actually inside. Inside a building. Oh, and outside. Holy cow, look at this. Like, the environments are so amazing. Eternity loop. <laughs> okay, so what do I do? Wookie's gonna spawn in over there. I think I think we're gonna I think we're gonna go and hide and wait for a good opportunity and use the delay. 
Uh, we can still we can still just stand here and watch. My message was, um, with the tip was as follows. Glad to have won the key. I've been a long time viewer on YouTube and have always enjoyed your mellow demeanor and good attitude. Keep up the good work. Caustics, you make me you make me very very happy. Thank you, thank you, buddy. Aww. So I guess Fenrir got you the key now, right? Yeah. <laughs> Let's tip him one dollar for each thirty seconds. Oh God. Uh, game night. Do you know how many maps ambience that are in the game? There's a lot of maps. It seems. I have uh, not seen them all. As you can see, this this map is new to me as well. Oh yeah, remember exclamation mark enter for the uh, lady here, and you can win a key like uh, Core Six did. Twenty six, twenty six. Perfect. I had no idea. All right, let's put there. Yeah, Core Six, that is insanely classy, man. Vaping death! Thank you for following. Oh, Fenrir? I think we played this map in uh, Alpha, didn't we? I think we played this one. Huh. Oh, you haven't joined the Discord? Oh, dude! Go ahead. The, the link um, is right there. My great mods are doing awesome work. Thank you, guys. Wookie. So this might be a Royal Rumble, but still, we can we can basically hang back. There's no timer on this one. Look at that. There's no timer. We can hang back and just uh, wait for them to come. I think we're going to do that. We're going to place this road flare. The Road Flare is uh, Orlok's special device that gives them 35% range evasion. Everyone else has a different device on their lay mechanic. I think they should have done more of that, by the way. Um, I can't place it there. Oh, that's bright. That's bright. Don't look into the lights. Alright. Um, let's go into ambush stance. And... Kneel. A virtual Viking, that increases my ranged evasion by 35%. If I'm within its reach. Because, I guess, because it blinds, it blinds the enemy, so they can't shoot properly. Yeah. But you have to be pretty close to it, look at that. The reach isn't that, isn't that big, but it's a, it's a pretty decent thing. Alright, let's, uh, uh, let's do heroic call to arms. That is a buff. Um, that I can't remember what does right now. <laughs> Just got it. Okay. It's pretty cool. I'm sure. And... Oh, watch. <laughs> it's Muir's. Hey, he's yeah, but he said so. It's okay. It's fine. Good to have you, Caustics. Good to have you. Yeah, one more key tonight. One more key tonight, and I might I might do uh, one more tomorrow or two tomorrow. What is the cover system like? Is there one? There is no cover system. It's more like uh, sight based. So if you are behind stuff, you're harder to hit. Sort of like in in 
in Warhammer. You you see the site and you say, oh, half cover or full cover or... Oh, wait, I need to place there. Back to back stream? Back to back. Back to back. Yes. Uh, Mordheim was like that as well. Yeah. I like that more than um, having to go to a specific area to get your cover. You're basically always in cover if you are covered. Very nice. I like it. Yeah, I'm going to be playing four hours tomorrow as well. Tomorrow evening at eight. Not much to my wife's delight, but hey, that's how it is. <laughs> pro, pro plays. I have no idea if it's pro plays. Like I'm not, I'm not, I'm not good at waiting, guys. I'm not. We need, we need some pew pew. Can we get some pew pew? Fifty five. I can't reach. What is the range on these? It's 50. Oh, that is close. Oh, wait, I could actually, I think I can bolt. And then hit her. Yeah, 47. Look at this. We can hit her. Albeit, yeah, 97. We can shoot her twice. What? Almost 100 damage. Amazing! That is incredible. All right, we're gonna we're just gonna stand here. That was so good. Yeah, it sounds good as well. The only uh, Jack Cowell says the only thing drawing me a bit away from this game is the lack of human-sized rats. I agree. I agree. We could have some human-sized rats. Oh, the only annoying thing is that they have a heal right there. Uh, two Fs and three Fs is the um, level you're on. So floor two or second floor, I guess. Can you take leader and four heavies? Yes, Murth. Yes, you can. And your leader has the um, career that you choose as well. So it could be a heavy or it could be a brawler. You, de you decide at the beginning. Now, what is the range on the Ribbit Cannon? I guess it's 25, yeah. Not gonna get that. Not gonna, not gonna get that. And I'm not moving over there. Hells no. Ow! Well, I asked for that, didn't I? I asked for that. Ouch. Let's kneel. And... Actually, let me... Anoint, anoint your arm, armaments. There we go. I got overwatched. Completely. Alright, he should be okay. He should be okay here. Wait, what is that? Medicaid kit. He has a Medicaid kit as well. And then we'll overwatch. 40k Skaven was actually a thing back in the day. Can't remember the name of them, but a weird race. Lambs to the Slaughter, thank you for the follow. Uh, these are 25 as well. Yeah. It's kind of... Kind of annoying. I should have just waited. Why didn't I just hang back and wait? Why am I dumb? Why am I dumb? Can we get close enough? 32. I cannot. Oh, but wait a second. What if we could? 
So as you can see, the movement is um, free. So you can, I can run all the way back and change my mind. Because I just figured out this thing is here and we can use that to get over there and save some movement points. And then we can use this one over here to get over there. Thank you, Barbarian, for the sub. That's so nice of you. And then we're actually within range. I think we're even going to be within range over here. Oh, almost. 25. There we go. 73 to hit. So we use this one. Uh, I don't want to use... Let's just use one. One hand. <laughs> Power to the people. Man, all looks up fun. Ah, uh, no, you can you can do tactical movement. It's not really cheating. <laughs> but very very tactical movement. Yeah, yeah. We can entrench. Guy, th this guy is just a bloody insane thing. I don't know how I created this, but this is just mad. Uh, let's give some attack to this one. And then we're gonna overwatch both hands and kneel. It, it will take a bit of getting used to and how you do it the best. What you combine. Oh yeah, see the safe zone here? as well and he's gonna get moved a bit to the side there and that happens on bridges as well unfortunately there's no fall damage in the game yeah Wookie had a couple of bad rounds yeah that was not that was not good for her <laughs> And I think it's a bit, uh, one of the things I don't like is that the, like, the AI isn't that smart. But it's even worse when, when you consider, let me just, uh, I'm just going to turn down the music a bit again. There. Like that. Um, it's even worse when you start considering that your enemies in the specific operation in that sector sometimes forget to put on new weapons or replace their fighters. That's kind of terrible. I, I really hope they fix that because some of these enemies are just too easy. Oh, kill point. No. What happened? Oh my god. Jeez. I hope everything is okay. I did the first giveaway. I'm gonna do one more. Caustics won the first one. No crime against you, I hope, Kill Pond. And when you have exclamation mark entered in my giveaways, you are already in the giveaway for the entire duration. Even if we do more, you don't have to do it several times. I don't want people to miss out. So uh, that's how I set it up. I just wanna. I, seriously, I would give every 131 of you <laughs> a key if I could. I would. That's that's how much I, I like this game actually. That's a good indication, I guess. All right, we're gonna put we're gonna put him over here. So if they do move on us, he will uh, ambush them. Oh, I love you too, Virtual Viking. Love you too, Muas. Uh, I'd say moving slightly is more costly than going for it. In, in, in Bloppel? Are we talking Bloppel? What are we talking? <laughs> Mewers make it fix your account. <laughs> it's actually... It's fine. I think... So, those things you saw right there. Um, those there. On the side. Those, you can... What the hell? You just terrorized me. 
Okay. You can create hazardous zones, but it's just not that dangerous. From what I've seen so far. Uh, but you can do that with a lay mechanic. So let's... Uh, Let's bring our lay mechanic over and try it. But yeah, the game plays really nicely, I would say. I don't think she can ambush me here. Where does it even trigger? There. No, no. No, it's only the... Yeah, it's the sab saboteur that can do that. Okay. I'm gonna shoot her. Then. Boom, boom, boom. We're talking movement point scam from Mordheim. Oh, yeah, yeah. Man, the movement points in Mordheim, you can cheat so badly. I did it in the last Dying Mordheim episode, and it was, I mean, it is mad what you can do. It's fun. Uh, nuclear Cafe. This is the first gameplay I see of this. Looks like I need to get it soon. <laughs> yeah. The words don't wiggle. Exactly. People know it. You can... Here you can do the APMP wiggle. Basically, so... What you need to remember is you have two... Uh, point systems. You have the AP and the MP. MP is used for general movement around. Counts down. But, you can combine it with using AP to vault over this and save the movement points from going around. So if you have the AP, you can actually move further. You can use jump for it, you can use the zip lines, uh, you can use the gravel. Everything to make things easier to get around. <laughs> it doesn't roll off the tongue, no, I know. The APMP wiggle. The wiggling. All right, let's get a kill. You guys want to see the 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 full barrage? Do do we want the full barrage? The barrage a doodle? It's overkill. Wiggle wiggle. It's overkill. Okay. So what this skill is usually for is targeting three, but uh, we just go full barrage. Oh, yes, chat. Thank you. <laughs> oh, I, I, I'm just... Oh, God. I enjoy this too much. I see. Oh. <laughs> daka, 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 daka. The channel says Daka Daka. The animation is not that good. Yeah. It should have been just. Wow, 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 wow. Do you know Llama? Uh, Seprify? No. I don't think I do. There's no kill like Overkill. Amazing. Um, let's... We're gonna do the... Yeah, we're gonna jump over here. Dead is dead. Exactly. The bl blazing llama? No. I actually blocked myself in here. What the hell? I'm dumb. Alright, let's, um... Do this then. And tune up some people. Just tune up him. There. Nuclear cookie with the tuna. Uh, and you can actually field repair your friends as well. So that's a good idea on some of your heavy hitters. Alright, last deployment. Right? Yeah. Uh, let's use him to field repair our guys. The Mordheim block is still a thing. It's it's harder though, but yes, you can do it. But see, she she doesn't have a weapon. She doesn't have a weapon. She has her fists. 
how is she even gonna do anything? Alright, so here you can see uh, field repair. I can repair his weapons so he doesn't have to spend the, the points on it. And it's going to reload his weapons as well. That's a really cool thing that you need to remember when playing this. Right, and we can, we can build another row flare now. I don't think we have room. No. It's a bit wonky placing those things. What else do we have? We have anointed armament, of course. We need that buff. All right, end turn. But can she but she can have and other dude kill you and she can steal your weapons and beat you with them. Yeah, that's true. That's fair. What do you improve with the current state of the game? Okay, that's actually a very interesting question. Thank you, uh, Gnaris. There's, there's like one thing I would like. It's a small thing, I think, but being able to drag and drop items in your inventory instead of having to use Q or uh, F to put in backpack and just let me freaking drag and drop, okay? I would like more skills. I would like for there to be... I, I would love if they would maybe consider adding hostile environments. Oh no, we're gonna get charged. Ow, my face. Okay, I wanted to show the disengage. <laughs> That's how you disengage, just like that. Nothing else. And then we move here and then we shoot her to death. <laughs> oh, that thing is ridiculous. That is so freaking insane. What have I done? What have I done? Everyone needs to do that combo. <laughs> AI went whoops. <laughs> he shoots like a gangster. He's like, pow, 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 pow. So good. That's gonna be really annoying in PvP, yes. Like, insanely annoying. Can we charge her? Maybe not. I think she was in an ambush, right? Or Overwatch? No. Maybe not. Wait, why can't I charge? Maybe I don't see her properly? I don't... Oh, there we go. There we go. Okay. So charge is a skill you uh, pick up. You can't just charge or uh, assault anyone if you want to. Oh. I love that animation as well. Cool. Um, do you auto re-engage if you move forward after disengage? No. You need to actively engage someone. Oh, she got stunned. Perfect. Kill them. Stuff their bodies in one of the spare dreadnoughts and kill them again. <laughs> That's very, very rude. Yeah, the saboteur can build traps where the uh, lay mechanic can can throw bombs. Oh, you're gonna burn your own! I told you so. What are the the benefits of dual wielding pistols or melee weapons? Dual wielding pistols. You can actually see in the clips tab why dual wielding pistols is such a good thing. 
you basically get to attack twice for uh, for the same AP. So one-handed weapon is fine. You can attack for 15. But when you start using skills, it's going to be cheaper to use, use both hands. Right. Close by, heavy shot getting annihilated. Perfect. Oh, grenades! Ah. Don't have enough AP. Two auto pistols or auto pistol and flamer. I still think two auto pistols is better. I mean, he has an auto pistol and flamer. I guess the flamer is good for when you have someone close together, so you can hit two at one time. Two flamers. Dual Flamers is really cool as well. Let's give them some drugs. Drug them up. There we go. Not gonna change anything though. Plasma Pistols? Yeah, that's a thing. Alright, so this is my dual wield guy if you uh, just joined in. And uh, I'll, I'll show you why dual wielding is so much fun. I'll show you. I'll show you. Alright, 15 meters, that's fine. Yeah. Heavy barrage in your face. <laughs> oh, that was actually uh, only 148 damage. Uh, plasma pistols has some kind of get hot thing. Yes. Uh, I know this because the um, anoint blades. Anoint, sorry, anoint weapons thing. The buff. What is it called? Uh, where is it? I don't have it on. But the anoint armaments um, has something that says plasma something. I haven't had, had it yet. There are bolt guns as well, yes. Hey, Green. Hey, Grey Bush. Stop throwing grenades at me. Yeah, I only had enough to reload one of the guns. Always. <laughs> I could. I couldn't. Yeah, I got early access. They wanted me to do some tutorials, so I did. Plasma reliability. Love my wife. Yes. Plasma reliability. Thank you. It's not like it's gonna blow up on you, but but it can it can uh, jam. Wow, you need you need really long distance for charging. It's five AP cheaper to charge than go into melee and then attack. Thank you, Greybush. Thank you. <laughs> Well, well then, just grab your stuff. No. Okay. Good job, buddy. Good job. He looks like he looks like he's very very satisfied with what he did. Uh Yeah. It, it. Just remember, it's only normal, so you can go brutal or uh, deadly as well. And get even harder opponents. But yeah, we're, we're doing pretty well. We're doing pretty well for ourselves. Oh yeah, and to regain hit points by the health dispenser, you just go up and use it. One per map. Um, do these 5 AP while you are... Make you able to attack one more time? than you otherwise could. Um, from Entrenched? Entrenched is going to give me 25. But yeah. 
you you can get even more oh from from charging no no it doesn't give you if if i could entrench it would yeah and if i had some buffs on with uh that gave me more ap i i would maybe be able to attack three times extra um having five ap left entrench gives you 25 no sorry 20 and that puts you at 25 which is one attack sometimes it's 15 though i don't know i'm just gonna end my turn here because we we wiped their team does she have uh, she has some bombs Oh, she has two. Fine. Grab it. If you if you force me. Yeah, it it would work in some situations. As you can see, the the maximum is sixty, but you only start with fifty. So you can get sixty, which is forty-five, and then you have fifteen left, and twenty. So yeah. Sometimes it's just better to just use one one-handed attacks. That actually work, works. Oh yeah, I played uh, 40k Space Marine. Yeah. That was really nice sounds. Thank you the wolf pack. Thank you for the follow. Oh, I need to get um, Barbarian level 20 on the list so we can get some more names in. Everyone that subscribes has a chance of getting their name in my Let's Plays. So just that's, that's one of the reasons to be subscribed, I guess. And because you want to support my channel. That, that's another thing. <laughs> Uh, if you wipe the enemy, do you automatically get all the loot and salvage? No. This is the operation con conclusion, by the way. Outstanding execution. So we got that one there. Um, you don't automatically get all the loot and salvage. You get one round to loot everything you can. So you just grab whatever. Everything. But wiping the enemy is a valid tactics. As you can see. 200, they got 115. This is cool. Complete Orlog. Hey, nice. Orlog operation. Thanks. Thank you for the follow, uh, Oren. Auro... Netusua. Auro Netusua. And Pestilence X, thank you so much. Love my wife. Thank you for the follow. I love my wife as well, so it's perfect. Hey, Mr. Deanster, good to see you, buddy. I mean, I, I like the game. I, I really, I really like it. So here we got the uh, grade one operation caskets. We can get um, three support and offensive consumables and one weapon, all of the following. So we'll open that. We got a hand flamer. And Spur, Adrenaline Shot, and Neuro Inhibitor. 200 XP. Wow. Wow. So this is one of the things, if you, uh, if you put this on a character, they stay alive until the loot round. You use this, and then it doesn't matter with the mechanical debuff. Cool. Thank you, uh, Crispy and Gnaris, for following. Oh, you pre-ordered. Nice. Yeah, it's up to people themselves if, if they want to pre-order or wait for gameplay like this and, and then decide. The 20% discount on the game is going to be there for one week. So you can wait. It, 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 there's no rush. We got a flamer as well. Cool. What else? A flamer. Neuro inhibitor. Oh, a plasma pistol. Acid thrower. Man. 
It's a tier two. Whoa. Holy cow. Thank you so much. Barbarian level 20 just gifted 10 gift subs. Holy smackadoodle doo. Uh, Drake, Max. Holy cow. I need to write these in. Lohengrim, Mark of Gee. The Bump. P. Tau. Seven, three, one. Lauge. DK, one. Dingo. Uh, there. TV. Thank you. Thank you so much. That is so nice of you. Wait a second. We have we have one more casket. This is the Gilda casket we got. Two armor pieces from the um, guild quest or mission to destroy Eshus. Let's open that. Oh, nice. All right, let's go pick someone to get some new armor. Only tier one. But this is against uh, piercing. Let's get that. Nice. Can you honestly... Dwarf Fury says, so can you honestly recommend the game for a Mordheim fan? Yes. Yes. I think, the like, the guys... The guys that... And girls that might have an issue with this game are the tabletop veterans. Because it's not a direct port of Necromunda. It's a Necromunda-inspired video game. Are there different uh, quality levels of the guns and armor? Yes, there is. It's a pretty hard thing to see, and I have told them that they might want to do something, but they haven't, so they might not care. What you can see is here. Here. This is the rank of the item. If I go here and find uh, this, Singer Mold, it has a 2, so this is an one time better deal than the other. Uh, so we can find, I think I have where is it? Yeah, there the Neuro Inhibitor was plus 200, but the Neuro Inhibitor 2 is 300. 3 is probably 400 and so forth. Hey, King Jiggy, good to see you. Uh, Lost Mortar is a tabletop veteran and it looks fun. Awesome. So, I yeah, I can de definitely say so. Nuclear Cafe. I do generally don't like PvP. Is there enough single player content? Yes. For the love of, of Jesus, I have 800 hours in Mordheim. Mainly, that is PvE. That is PvE. Didn't you say in your last video that you wanted to stream Necromunda yesterday already? I, I I would have loved to, but I couldn't. No, it was today. It was today. Oh, you did? Always lucky. Sorry, buddy. Sorry. Sorry, dude. I might I might have uh, stated it wrong. And it's nice to see Orlux played. Yeah, I, I love these. These guys are insane. Um, I'm going to upgrade the heroic barrage again you can only use one heroic per turn no i don't no it's oh it's already at three but then you can you if you have more ap you can use the trick shot for instance and shoot twice you can upgrade that uh aggress is pretty cool as well i like that um but i think we're gonna no we're gonna give him some stats Intelligence and ranged aptitude is good for any ranged character, basically. And I want to get, I want to get that uh, there. I want to get that neuro inhibitor two on him. Two? I could actually get two on him. 
I'm just gonna get one on him and one on him. There. But uh, yeah, this is one thing I dislike a bit. There's too little coloring for my taste. So it's all green. It's, it's green in green. And that can get a bit confusing. That trait was... Oh, he got a trait. Oh, I need to look. Oh, I didn't see Manus. I need to see. Was that terrible? He's cocky. <laughs> He's cocky. Yeah, it's fine. Uh, he doesn't kneel that much, though. Uh, traits. Personality traits are random. Yeah, it's fine. It's only 10 to kneel then. They are random, and you discover them at rank 5 and, ab and above. Every time you get a skill, uh, every time you upgrade some, um, some of your stats, there's a chance that he develops a vice, a talent, or a virtue. So there's one negative thing and two uh, really good things. Yeah, he doesn't, he doesn't deal to anyone. He doesn't kneel to anyone. Alright, um, our unfit cares need some XP as well. Let's grab this. Let's get it. Where is it? Neuro inhibitor. Thank you. Um, boom, boom, boom. She actually has 93 experience points. Weapon barrier? Initiative? No. Let's get... Uh, not an aura. Range? Okay, readiness. Uh, yes. So tune-up is until the end of battle, and readiness is until the end of battle. Holy cow. That is really good. You need to get a plasma cannon. Oh, I hope the plasma cannon is in there. Can you also buy the trait virtues away? No. Once you have them, you're stuck with it. Sucks. Uh, exertion? No. Actually, delay. Complete heavy basics. Nice. Um... Is this a heavy stubber? This is indeed a auto cannon. This is an auto cannon. I think we have a heavy stubber, actually. Heavy stub gun. Let's see what the differences are. So, it has a bit higher damage output. The initiative on the heavy stub is insanely high. Yep, auto cannon in the underhive. I guess they raided someone. Uh, the range is only 50, uh, 30 meters, where the auto cannon is 50. And the jam is, is pretty high uh, as well, compared. The crit chance is higher. Otherwise, it's, it's similar. So it's, it's just a better heavy stop gun, in my opinion. Guess my perfect crew will take a lot of time to do. That's great news. It it will take time to develop and make them make them great. Let's give her some flak. Um yeah, let's keep the auto pistol. I don't want too much in their backpack. I'm gonna stash that one. Uh I like I like having the flamer. And he has one adrenaline shot. He has one adrenaline shot. Uh, I'm gonna take that away. And then we're gonna go with an adrenaline shot. There. I think adrenaline shot is probably one of the most important things to get. <laughs> Because you only have five gangers. If two of them go down, you're pretty uh, in a pretty bad shape. All right, we need to begin a new operation. 
Uh, Abaddon, yeah, um, I'll do the next giveaway. Actually, you know what? Hmm. Play PvP against Sage? Oh, yeah, that could be. That could be. I need to go here. Uh, log in. How do injuries recoveries work with a five person squad? Yes. I don't think I have any on this particular squad. Um, yeah, here we go. Essay Hydra will be on later. Yeah. I will do a deadly series on Necromunda as well. Yeah. I'm, I just need to figure out the rules because it's very different from Mordheim. So, you have your injuries here, and uh, people can, can lose their arms or legs or die. And then you can replace them. I haven't tried that yet. But you can replace them with bionics somehow. Uh, I have yet to see that. But injuries will uh, result in a recovery of some sort. So, what that does is it doesn't make your character unable to attend but you get maybe a minus to all your skills. So you need to, it, it, they cost more AP to use. So he's less useful in that match. Two matches or three matches. Can you fire people? Yes, indeed you can. Lay off. You need to hold it down. You can't do it on, on uh, just uh, by mistake. Uh, can you submit a name for that series? Everyone that subs to my channel will have a chance to get in any of my Let's Plays. Anyone. But subbing is, is what we do it for. Oh, you're welcome. You're welcome. That's why I'm here. Yeah, I, I have a plan with SA Hydra tomorrow, playing some PvP, so I think we're going to do it there. I'm gonna shut off the timer for the giveaway and then we're gonna do it. If anyone wants in on the giveaway, write exclamation mark enter into chat and you could win you could win a uh, a key. Exclamation mark enter and we'll we'll do the drawing now. If you already have written enter you don't need to do it again. Uh, here. 85. 85 people. But you just need to be in the chat if you win and you need to respond if you win. And while entering that, go to our Discord. Come join us. Yeah. Yeah, it's fine. You can you can you can write. It doesn't matter. Good luck, guys. <laughs> Lost broke Fenrir. Don't break my Fenrir. Is there a way to submit a name? Subscribe and I'll put you on the list. That's why. That that's the way. It's a it's a good way to give my uh, my supporters some love. I can't I can't do much, but I can do that. Can't do much, much about love. Uh. <laughs> All right. I think we got most people in. One last call. And then we draw one more. Okay. Give away. Who's gonna get it? Mad do Mad do. Alright, forty five seconds. Right in chat, Madu. Yeah, beat it. <laughs> 
Congrats, buddy. Congrats. Fenrir, give the man a key. I think it needs to be just a tad louder, doesn't it? Just maybe four. Uh, you know what? You know what? You know what? I'm, I'm feeling, I'm feeling the love, I'm feeling happy. So let's do one more. Does it remove Madu though? I need to see. It doesn't, okay. Madu, you can only win one. One per day, please. I'm uh, kicking you out. Uh, Caustics? 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 Is, is this it? Actually in... Yeah, it is. Uh, Caustics. Kicking you out as well. There you go. We're gonna do one more. Let's frack it. Yeah, we're gonna do three. Yeah, we're gonna do three. <laughs> Exclamation mark enter to join the uh, giveaway for one more key. One more key. I'm gonna... I'm, I need to give... I need to give some love. I'm gonna give more tomorrow. I think I have I have five in total, so I'm gonna give two more tomorrow. So exclamation mark enter boys and girls. Get your name on the list. If you are not already on the list, if you are on the list, it it won't jiggle. It jiggles if you're not on the list and write enter. Would be nice if it had a confirmation on on in the chat, but it doesn't. It doesn't doesn't have that just, I love the uh, animation as well that's why <laughs> uh, it's pretty cool yep two more keys tomorrow if you don't win today two more key two more keys oh kill pond kill pond wants it Tatsura wants it everyone wants it I want to give it to you Tinder's Twitch. Thank you. Thank you for the follow. Thank you so much. I love you guys. This is awesome. It feels wonderful being able to give. Alright, let's do this. Ready? We're gonna roll in three, two, one. Give away! <laughs> Good luck. I'm just as excited as you guys. <laughs> Who's gonna get it? Mr. Deeds that no What is that name by the way? Cyrodex Oh, X redacted one. 45 seconds. 45 seconds you get to defeat the evil boss or you get eaten. Congrats, buddy. You just need to write in chat. Perfect. Smack that. Smack that thing. Congrats, redacted. Redacted. Redacted? I can't speak. Thank you so much. Thank you guys for being here. Thank you for joining me and uh, thank you for having fun. Well, we're not done yet. It's just uh, that was the giveaways for uh, for the evening. So if you just came for the giveaway, um, I can't do any more. <laughs> I'll be I'll be doing more tomorrow. However, uh, let me get that away. There we go. All right. Tin does Twitch. Thank you for the sub, buddy. Tin. Okay. Awesome. Now watch 70 people leave. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe they just want to see some gameplay. Let's uh, let's give that to them. All right. I think we have done what we need to do right now with the skills. We start a new operation. So more gameplay. Exactly. I want to play. Uh, how long until public release? It is at midnight, so one hour and seventeen minutes. You can you can preload, Mr. Deanster. 
Preload is open. S sorry, sorry. <laughs> I only found out just before the stream. Night, Abaddon. Sleep tight, buddy. Good to see you. Wait, it increased right after? Wait, what? What, what increases? Check this shop for plasma cannon. Okay, we'll uh, just start a operation. So, as you can see here, we have four shifts in this one. You have how much XP you get per, uh, per battle. And you have three gangs. And the enemy crew rating. This is what you want to look out for. 5600 is a lot. That is like a lot. And the crew rating is just these guys. Our crew rating is 2800. So we would be facing some serious business. Um, on this one, it's 54. On very hard, it's 45. On hard, it's 38. And normally, it's 3000. And easy, it's 2100. I think we can do brutal, though. You can also see the clan request. The view count increase. Oh, God. That is so odd. Uh, you only level up with XP. XP and skills. So... I'll just pick this and get our uh, infamy done here. Oh, I like this. Armor pieces. I like that. Let's get that. And the training ground is very important. I can't play without that. And now I have uh, 13 infamy points I can spend that gets reset every time you start a new operation. You gain four more viewers. Yeah, always, it's four missions. You have four missions to go, and then the operation will be done. Yeah, four days. Hey, Bailman, good to see you. Um... Let me see. Did I uh, level up? Yeah, I'm gonna Lamarck. I'm gonna I'm gonna get to that one. Wait, Lamarck. Seventy nine. I didn't have you on the list, buddy. There we go. Okay, so the infamy points you can spend on stuff that will uh, give you a random ganger. Up to rank 5. That's pretty cool. That costs 10 of your infamy for this operation. Uh, you can get implants. 1 to 2 implants. Uh, you can get melee weapons of rank 5. You can get sponsored casks with 2 to 4 armor pieces of rank 5. It's really cool. Redacted, thank you for the sub, buddy. Oh, you shouldn't have. That... Dead 1x. I'm gonna put you on the naming list. Thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, Biosurgeon minus 10% cost of bionic upgrades. This is what we haven't. I haven't explored that yet at all. Controlled memory wipe costs less. Pretty cool. Right there. Uh, but the free ganger is is free. I like that. Let, let's get a free ganger. And then we have three points left. We can spend... Extra shift, you gain 15 credits. Pretty cool. Uh, extra 10% when selling. Random juve up to rank 2. Reward. Ranged weapons. We can actually use that. Let's get that. Alright, and then you confirm. And we get our first shift. Uh, does it say anywhere which shift you're on? I actually don't think it uh, does. Shift 903. Just can't really use that for anything. Okay. Um, what do I show on... What do I show? 
Sorry if I missed. I God damn it! I can't. Yeah, what do I show on? Nothing. Okay. Okay. Uh. Whoa. This is Spectrum Supremacy. Spectrum Supremacy is one such game, a delicate dance of tactical expertise. The gang who controls the most lights. This is the light show thing. We're gonna do that one. The free ganger is here now. You get you get your infamy rewards right after you start the operation. So we got uh, Bobby Dax with 1300 XP and he's a uh, saboteur. That's pretty cool. Capture the points, yes. Capture the points. Uh, I went with the brutal. I went with the brutal this time. I want my random name picker. There we go. Alright, we're gonna update this. I went with the brutal though. Not the deadly. Socks of Alcar! My good buddy. My good buddy. That's awesome. Does the ganger stay after the operation? Yes, he does. There we go. Sucks Valka. Welcome. So now we can spend XP. And this is cool because you asked about the XP. So we can spend the XP that we need for uh, here. He's ranged. He's a ranged ganger. So he has a maximum of 17 ranged aptitude and 11 here. The, th the thing is, you don't get to choose the traits. So he has toughness, for instance, which might not be the best. And curious and protean. Yeah, protean. 13 XP, 13k XP, that is insane. So we're gonna max out his ranged aptitude. He's gonna level up. And now he's a competent you. And then you spend more points, so we need more intelligence and every point you spend will increase this by one so now you see three points will level him him up there we go associate you that is great he stays so if your people don't die this operation you can get more and more gangers yeah for free you don't even need to spend any credits on them because of your infamy um, let's give him some accuracy as well for the greatness it 1300 is more than five isn't it wow this is just insane let's give him some toughness as well 100 points into that and some alertness He got a vice, cost of disengage, unfortunately. So now he's uh, rank five. I'm gonna max out the intelligence though, and grab some skills for him. Cryo for capsule, that's pretty cool. I'm gonna get that. Sort of a debuff, five initiative and five damage absorption, but it stacks 10 times. Yeah, the UI is actually pretty decent, I would say so. Uh, we're gonna get the homemade nade and the chem sith, and now he ranked up again, rank six. Holy cow! As you can see, he gains. As I use 35 XP, he gains one point here. Oh, he got a virtue. Pain tolerance, 10 hit resist, when he's heavily wounded. He's about to. Yeah. Acceleration. 
gives him ranged evasion, chain reaction, survival. End of turn. Oh, okay, if he gets a ranged attack. Uh, what do we go for? Adrenaline? Killing spree, range critical hit chance. Sure. Let's get the debilitating trap as well. We can upgrade the nade. And, uh, wait. Oh, he's he doesn't have the stats for it. You need to have the stats. Here it's agility. There. You can see he needs... He needs 12 agility to upgrade to the last point. Alright, and then we get... Maybe Swift Shooter? And we'll get some one-handed ranged... Uh, one-handed weapons for him. Killing Spree. Cryo Fog. Let's get that. Calculated shot. See, he can't get those uh, nice Deadeye abilities. And only the leaders can get heroic abilities. Preparation. Oh, I like that. One-handed weapon seems a lot better. Yeah. <laughs> Your leader may or may not be a knucklehead at start. <laughs> I mean, they are they are pretty high level, and they can get some really decent skills. Momentum. Rear guard. Yeah, let's do that. Rear guard is sort of like making him uh, into a glass cannon, but that's fine. What do we have? It's just a tier 1 flamer, by the way. We have a tier 2 hand flamer. We're gonna, f we're gonna flame them. Tier 2 plasma. Uh, an auto pistol. Yeah. Medikit. Adrenaline shot. There we go. Cool. Downloading Necro and your stream is too laggy. Oh, sorry. Put put down the quality, maybe. Put down the quality. He's he's insane. This is mad. Wow. Parting gift. Oh yes, that's good. We can upgrade that as well. Vandal's Gambit. Oh, nice. So if once he sabotages, it costs less for him to use his abilities. I do like the chain reaction, though. Oh, it's paired with field repair. It's a bit weird. Oh, and then you can do a combination of um, seasoned caution. Okay. I'll get that one. Dynamic mobility. Holy cow, he is insane. What the heck? I have 445 XP. That's so mad. This is this is just insane. So, at one point you will get to um, have maximum stats and then you can use the max stat upgrades. So you spend XP and you spend max stat upgrade points. So, in this case, we could get his ranged aptitude one higher for one point and for um, 30 XP. So, we're going to do that. And then he gains more as he um, gains in rank. Cannot die. Oh my god. What? What? 
He cannot die. Cannot suffer multiple traumas at the end of a single battle. Increased chances of fast recovery or miracle recovery. <laughs> well, he can take over. Holy cow, man. Yeah, now it's a good thing we made him a glass cannon. That is crazy, guys. That is totally golden. Alright, let's give him some more toughness so he can he can withstand things as well. Oh my god. And agility, we need that as well for the abilities. His name is totally red. It should be, shouldn't it? Thirty-five XP left, and then you can give him uh, different, change different stuff here. The head, give him some hair, piercings, scars, uh, chin. We need the uh, there, and a necklace. You can change that. We couldn't see it. Space Marines overlooked a good recruit there. Totally. Like they missed they missed out. The shirt. Oh, he needs the he needs the leather jacket on. Yeah. The lower body we need pretty pants. A nice loincloth. There. A bit of a knife and a drill. Perfect. Well, he's looking uh, dangerous. Save and continue. Right then. So how do I move him? To the crew. Fighter options. Ah, uh, okay. I need to right click. You need to right click to move. And then you can swap someone out. We're gonna swap unfit chaos out. Sorry, buddy. Oh, you can even have them make crew active. Oh, that is pretty cool. So you could have one crew specialized in melee. That's pretty cool. I like that. Or you can right click and then send layoff. Rest to. So he's over there. Cool. Well, we just got quite the beast. Quite the beast. Let's, uh, let's go play. <laughs> That's a lot of management, I know, I know, but it, it's a huge part of it.